All right, guys. I'm gonna do a little update video here. I um, I have quite a few videos to do. I have a few video requests, so I'm gonna try to do my best to get that done. Been a little busy. Um, that way I don't I want to put a whole bunch of videos on and not be able to do what I'm supposed to do. Here's some of the video, or some of the uh, calves. Um, flies just started getting in here. But, see that pile right there? Exactly what you want. No squirts. This one had squirts. Skyer. Working on getting him over there, as you can see, he's a little thin. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see all these calves. But I'll go ahead and walk through and show you everything. Um, these are new crates here. Just built those. Uh, these here. I just ordered these things. I ordered some a few years ago. And they were like, I think they're like $16 a piece. But yeah, it's high, but I can weld them and fix them. Use them for a lifetime. These things were $30 this time. Double the price. I wasn't even going to buy them. But I had so much trouble with... I probably could have made them. I really don't have the time to. But I don't know... If what this says right here has anything to do with it or not. But I bought them from the same place. Um... I got these calves the first night. I batch mix all my milk. So I set the batch at eight ounces. Gave them eight ounces of powder and I gave them half a bottle. The next morning I gave them half a bottle. The next night I gave them three quarters. The next morning I gave them a full bottle of eight ounces. Um. Every day since then, I have increased them. Eight, eight and a quarter ounces, eight and a half ounces, eight and three quarter, and quarter ounce uh, increments. <clears throat> I, um... They're all pretty good sized calves. Um... Uh, Oh, all of them. There's a few of them. This one here is small. So that little white one. But they're doing well. Yeah, the old tail are going. They like that. Anyway, <coughs> those are the calves. What I've been up to. Um, worked out a deal with the distillery. I gotta get seven loads a week of slop. But anyway, that's what they want. Um, the goal is to feed it to just steers. So, I'm feeding some to the beef cows. And, uh, the pasture's in great shape because of it. Um, that's, uh, kind of how things are going. With the calves, I did give them a shot of Draxon, one cc. Um, just what I like to do. Um, usually help I think it sticks with them for like 14 days or something like that and I gave them in force 3 yesterday and I gave them a thing called drench which is about 5 cc's of vitamins and minerals and smells just like a, a kid's uh, Flintstone vitamin mineral vitamin that they take um these are getting big. Of course, I'm standing. They're up to my chest. Yeah. So they're growing pretty fast. I did implant them. Um, after I implant them, they got more of a, a bullhead look. So I don't know if I'm going to. I might implant them one more time, but that's about to be it. Uh, there are a couple of small ones in here. So there's their slop. It's like oatmeal. It's got a whole lot of corn in it. 
And it's hot right now because I just got back from getting a load and uh, they, they love it. Uh, they are on a uh, grow fast ration too, so. Um. <clears throat> I've been thinking about getting a semi tanker. Um, I found some pretty cheap. I've never drove a truck over the road for a long time, and yes, I went to school to work on these things, but I have not been in the field. A buddy of mine has. I worked on heavy equipment instead. That uh, was a lot more fun, really, if you ask me. But anyway, I don't know. I'm still looking in the market. I don't know. I want an international, but uh, I drive an international every day, and it's definitely a work truck. There's no comfort in that thing, I don't think. Um, there's a lot of Peterbilts and Kenworths around here. A whole lot of them. A lot of farmers use them. So, really don't know what to uh, what to get, but I was looking at getting a, a 6,000 gallon tanker. And uh, maybe just getting a load like twice a week instead of every single day. Anyway, calves are doing well. I really, I've only had one case of Skyr so far. Uh, they're starting to eat their uh, starter. I buy. I used to use uh, pellets and corn, but I really like how they start on this stuff. They eat it faster. I didn't give it to them uh, till about the third day. Then I got them started on this. They only got fresh water all the time. I don't give these pond water like everything else gets. They get city water. They get everything clean. They're really picky. Uh, I got uh, everything's drinking right now. That's why there's so many buckets. Uh, I wash them out and hang them up here uh, every morning. Um, they, uh, this one right here and this one right here are Goldilocks. They will suck a bottle in about two minutes, but they will not drink out of a bucket. And that's just, I guess their priorities are set too high. They don't want to drink out of a bucket. This one's the same way. They like the milk. They love a bottle, but they will not drink. Can't force these things to do it. You get to go forcing them, they won't drink. They'll never do it. Um, I, had, I had about six of them that wouldn't drink at, at first, and I had to feed them a bottle. And after they uh, figured out they could drink the milk much faster than they could through a bottle, they, uh, that's what they like to do. But anyway, here's the most bottle calves I've had. It's the biggest group I've ever had. So, um, I'm, um, like I said, I'm pretty happy with them. All of them, but the blue tags came off of one dairy in northern Ohio. Um, these calves are a week old. Uh, most of them had umbilical cords. Um, like I said, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I haven't had any sick calves. This is a small calf here. Uh, yeah, I did get one free Martin here. This is the free Martin. Um, she's a really good looking calf. And I've only heard of free martins. They only come out of twins, usually. One bull and one one heifer. The heifer's a free martin, non-breedable. And if that's the case, that poor cow, this is a great big calf. So they might have just not been a, a breedable heifer. They might have probed and found out it wasn't breedable. But anyway, um, kind of what I've been up to. Um, I haven't turned the fan on. Um, I probably will about the third week, but everything's done with these calves. Everything that I do, my little, all my stuff that I go through, there's some of the uh, vaccination. They, they will get a homophilus shot in black leg when they get weaned. I haven't banded them and I haven't dehorned them because by the time they're the big enough, I believe um, I'm just going to do it. The, just going to castrate them with the, uh, with the knife that I have and uh, dehorn them myself. 
So that's that. Um, with the time schedule that I have set up with finishing these steers and everything, um, it will be January before I get another group. Unlike last year where I got a group every six to eight weeks and then sold them as I could, um, we'll be getting three groups a year instead of four. Um, due to how long it takes to finish them. But, um, if it doesn't work out and I can't finish them, uh, there's plenty of guys around here that can, and they have already talked to them, and they'd be happy to take my cattle. And I could go back to raising just uh, the bottle calf to 700 pounds. Takes a lot of grain. I'm cutting it with barley. Barley's in the little bin, and the corn's in the big bin. And um, I really need to do something with that corn. I, I'm going to feed it. And it's last year's corn, and I want to use it. It's taking a little bit of time, so we might have to do some moving around. The bins are, they have, both of these two are full of wheat. So that stuff needs to go before we uh, run beans again, which is going to be late. And then putting the, uh, we're going to go behind some of these fields and put wheat back in. And yeah, I know we're taking a lot of, uh, you know, like fodder off, but... We got a whole lot more cattle now, and the lagoon is in good shape. It's full, so um, I plan on putting a lot of manure on to try to help. And uh, I'm not gonna put manure on the same fields every year. I'm gonna try to put like say manure on this field and then that field and then that field, or maybe uh, we'll stretch over two fields. And uh, last year we put hog manure on that, and that was. Uh, uh, hog manure one year, skipped a year at hog manure again. So it's pretty rich. That salad corn is pretty darn green. Didn't even need much fertilizer. So um, it's uh, that's in good shape. So we need to find another field to put it on. And I don't know how that's going to go with uh, getting beans off late, pumping manure on it, and uh, trying to get wheat in at the same time all in November. I don't think that's going to work out too well. So um, we might just uh, plant some more corn. Um, I'm going to plant barley after I harvest my corn on my field. And uh, we might plant a little bit more barley because a dual purpose use there. Uh, we can sell the straw and I can use it as feed. Uh, it's pretty much a one-to-one -one replacement of corn. So you can do a full replacement. But I'm not. I'm, uh, I'm doing half and half. I'm cracking the corn and then... Uh, I'm running the barley through it and I'm grinding it really fine. So it's more like a powder. I'm trying to get away from the acidosis that can occur in these cattle when they're on full feed. So I'm just cracking it. And, um, you know, they're only eating about a pound or two of hay a day. So, and they are really consuming a lot of corn. Um, we'll see how that goes with a TMR mix would be more accurate. It'd be better to feed them that way because there's probably about 10 or 15 percent of it that goes out the back end of the cow unused so uh what i need to do is turn the hogs in there about once a week let them clean everything up but anyway i'm not going to do that i uh, really need a tmr mix and a different setup but uh we thought about building another trough and uh buying some feeder steers or dad was going to buy them i was going to haul a slop so thought about doing that i don't really know but we're going to try to um, try to get these things out the door. And yes, I will get to the requested videos when I can. Um, getting that stuff in the morning and feeding these calves and then going to work and coming home. And uh, we, I've had a, my cousin's been helping me. He's out of college for temporarily. And we've been remodeling the barn, the hog barn, getting it all set up uh, for the next group of calves so we can have four groups four places so uh, it's just been really busy but anyway that's just a little bit of a it's kind of a long update but that's what's been going on thanks for watching